Hi everyone, I've discovered a lot of the tutorials about how to fix the MetaHuman face for better mocap are not quite right, so stay tuned and I'll show you a better way to do it. So it's pretty easy to have the LiveLink face app animate a MetaHuman head based on your own head, but it seems like the mouth is never quite right, and some of the other parts of the face may not be quite right either, depending on how your face looks to the uh, LiveLink face app. Uh, the most common problem is one you can see here, that even when I close my mouth, the MetaHuman's mouth doesn't completely close. And some people have published a fix for that, but in testing out that fix, I've discovered it's not quite the right way to do it. Uh, the problem is, is that the way they're doing it actually locks a couple of the parameters of the mouth to one value and keeps them constant. Uh, I don't think they knew they were doing this, because it's probably not the best way to do it it uh, removes a little bit of the expression from your MetaHuman's face. One of the earlier versions of LiveLink face had a calibration function in it, which they took out for some reason, and it's not due back until 4.27 ships. So I think uh, this approach will get you around that problem until that new thing shows up. So the first thing you have to do to get the calibration right is to get the MetaHuman connected up to your iPad or your iPhone so that it's uh, mimicking whatever you do with LiveLink Face. And um, there have been a ton of tutorials on that, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on it because it's actually pretty simple. Uh, if you look over here, you can see the, in the editor window, if you select the MetaHuman, in the MetaHuman's details, there's a thing that says LiveLink Subject. And you want to set that to whatever you're using for Live Link Face. Uh, and then you also want to click this box underneath if you want the, the Live Link character's head to turn all, uh, along with yours. The uh, next thing is to get some of the character's blueprints open so that you can mess with them. And the easiest way I found to do that is to just come into the uh, thing here, select face, and double click on the face. And that should give you this. The other thing that's very helpful is the Live Link Curve Debugger. You have to go into the Plugins menu and enable it. That's right here, the Live Link Curve Debug UI. And that will give you something that looks like this. And what that's showing is all of the different things that are coming in from Live Link for my iPad. And you can see all of these bars are changing as I talk and my face moves. And by looking at this screen, you can kind of see the problem and the reason why the MetaHuman face doesn't always look right. Uh, the MetaHuman's face is uh, at a neutral position when it comes up, and that would be when all of these little red bars you're looking at are zeroed out. And as you can see, even if I strike a neutral pose like this, they aren't all at zero. Uh, that's because everybody's face is different, and not everybody's face is going to match up what LiveLink face thinks is neutral. So you need to straighten that out in order to get the MetaHuman face to work right. So the first thing you need to do to get this all calibrated is to capture a neutral pose of your own face and see what it looks like. The easiest way to do that is to just be running LiveLink face like I am now, uh, and then strike what you would call a neutral pose looking into the camera at the top of the iPad screen and tap the Live button to freeze everything up, which I'll do that right now. So you can see now my MetaHuman's face is stuck in, an, in a neutral position, and his mouth is still a little bit open, his eyes are just a bit droopy, because that's the way it reads my face. Next, you need to go down to that blueprint screen we opened up earlier and take a look at that. Click on Skeleton, and you'll notice that down here at the bottom, all of the different morph targets and other things are listed. But they're all at zero right now. So we need to get it to show us the values coming in from LiveLink Face. So you can set LiveLink Preview Controller and the name of your iPad. And now you can see that all the values for the mouth and other things have been set to what they were in my neutral pose. This is the same information that was over here on the curves screen except on this screen you can actually see the numerical values, which is what we're going to need. So the actual fix is done on the blueprint screen, so I'll click there to see it. And you can see the animation blueprint right here. 
Uh, if this isn't on the screen, you can go down here to where it says Anim Graph and double click it and it will appear. Now what everyone has been telling you to do to fix the problem is to use the Modify Curve node, which I'll pop up right now. And wire it in between the Live Link pose. And here, like this. And what this node lets you do is make changes to the curves coming in from Live Link before they hit the character. So what everybody's been telling you to do is come in here and find something like that's off, like Mouth Shrug, which is down at the bottom here. Mouth Shrug Lower. And you see a number pops up here of zero. And they've been telling you to, to adjust this number until the character's mouth closes. Now, that's sort of right, but not completely. Click on here and look at the details. Now you can see by default the Apply mode says Blend, which means blend the input with the new curve value according to the alpha setting on this node. This is where the problem is. They're putting a value in here to modify Mouth Shrug, but they left the alpha at 1 and the Apply mode set to Blend. So basically what they're doing is making Mouth Shrug lower a constant value of whatever you put in here. Now that does sort of fix things, but it removes a little bit of the expressiveness from the face, and it's not going to work very well if you use this technique for some of the other things in your Live Link face input that may be a little bit off. The way I found this out was I tried to use it at first this way to calibrate other things on my f character's face, and by the time I was done the character's face was not moving hardly at all. Obviously not what you want. So the way to do this and have it work like you really want it to work, is just to change the Blend mode over here, the Apply mode, from Blend to Remap Curve. What this does is instead of just replacing the value with the value that I put here, it remaps the incoming curve so that whatever value I put here becomes zero and the rest of the stuff is stretched out. Now since all the Live Link curves start at zero, this just expands the curve a little bit to match up so that wherever your neutral pose is will now be zero. So to get everything right, all you have to do is go down through the Live Link curve data that you were getting earlier for your neutral pose, find anything that's not a zero, and put it in here. So for example, if you also needed to change Mouth Shrug Upper, which is pretty common, you'd come in here and add another pin for it, find it, Mouth Shrug Upper, and you'd put the value from your neutral pose here. So the process to get a right, good calibration is basically to go over to the skeleton page, look up and down the list and find any of these values that aren't zero, and enter a modify curve value for every one of them. Now in practice you don't have to do all of them. I'd start by uh, looking for anything that's over 0.1 and doing those first. Some of these don't have a big effect on the way the character's face looks, so you might want to do a few at a time, see how it looks, and then come back and do more. Now this can take some time, and I don't want to make you sit through watching me do it because it's just a lot of repetition. So I think you get the idea. Go through here and find the values that are not zero, particularly the ones that are larger. Then go back to the blueprint here, go into modify your Modify Curve node, right-click and say Add Pin for whatever it is that you want to add some calibration information on, and then type the value in here. Now, so you don't have to sit there and watch me do dozens of values, I've already done it, uh, and I made this little Modify Curve node. In my case, I connected everything up to variables because it made it a little easier to fine-tune things, but if you, you can just type the numbers in to the boxes here on the Modify Curve node and it works equally well. When you're all done getting it set up and you're ready to test, you'll want to click Compile to compile your new blueprint. If you had Unreal in play mode, be sure to stop it and press play again, or the changes you made may not come through. Also remember to press the Live button to turn Live Link Face back on on your iPad or iPhone. Once you do that, you should see your character animating like this. And one of the things you'll notice right away since I uh, changed this thing, is that now when I close my mouth, his mouth closes. 
You may also notice that his eyes are a little more open and a little more straightforward than they were before. That's because I calibrated the eyes as well. Now, how much difference doing a calibration like this makes will depend a lot on how your neutral pose looks and how far all of those red bars in the curve viewer were, were from zero. So take a look at that and try it out, see how it works. Now I'll show you a side-by-side -side bit of comparison footage showing before and after calibration for me. Two, one, pop, pop, three, two, one, a, E, I, O, U. Testing. All right, well, you know, here I am. Probably looking reasonably like the way I should. Okay. All right. Popping eyes. Puffing cheeks. Crooked mouth. The whole deal. Now I'm looking right at the live logo on the screen and we'll stop. So that's how it works. Now I want to remind you, the way that other people have shown you to do it isn't exactly wrong, but it does result in the lower lip getting partly frozen on the character's face. Using the correct blend mode, like I showed you here, just modifies the curve so the character's, that part of the character's face will still move. And it works much better if you want to calibrate other parts of the face. So I hope this was useful. Let me know if you've got any problems getting it to work. See you around.